We're going to try something a little bit different today. I got a little behind uploading my What I Eat in a Day videos while planning my bestie's 40th birthday brunch, and I'm going to get myself caught up by uploading the next two videos as sort of a mashup of two or three days worth of meals while focusing more on the health and nutrition of the meals and less on the calorie count. Look at the ingredients for that beautiful breakfast burrito. I went with the salsa verde. Doing old school picnic style for lunch today with some clean eating meat, cheese, and crackers. I am also bringing some artichoke dip left over from the party. Not so clean, but preservative and gluten free. A little bit of trail mix from Trader Joe's, and as you can see from the funky color on those faux M and M's, they are free of artificial colors. And for dinner, I just filleted some really large chicken breasts in half and pounded them thin. And I dredged them in some non-GMO cornstarch and fried them up in a really beautiful dark green avocado oil. It's a high heat oil, but um, it's a really good healthy fat. And just make sure that your cornstarch is non-GMO or organic. I know Clabber Girl has a really affordable one at Target. Bob's Red Mill always carries one, but it's a little more pricey. Day two of this catch-up mashup video. I just have time for a quick breakfast. I'm going with my organic protein and greens and some organic Simple Truth unsweetened almond milk. I like to add my own um, spinach or kale to this and a frozen banana. It just gives it a, a smooth, creamier texture. Having lunch outside the home again today and day two's lunch is virtually the same as day one. I did go crazy and substitute my organic provolone for organic Colby Jack snackage outside the home. Today I've got nothing but fruit and nuts. It's simply date, hazelnuts, and cacao, and a small pack of trail mix. My bestie and I are pretty codependent, and we grocery shop most weeks together. This is our happy place, Trader Joe's. Um, if you're eating clean and gluten-free, this is the place to be. And yes, I am that loser in the grocery store with my crazy list. Um, or the winner. It really just depends on your perspective. It gets a lot of attention. What can you do? People either love you or hate you for it. For dinner, I've got a couple small pieces of baked salmon, and I've just topped that with a homemade tartar sauce. We make that with a soy-free veginase because my oldest daughter can't eat egg, and that is her mayo substitute of choice. And to it, you just add a little lemon juice, some um, diced pickles and onions, and a little bit of dill. On the side, we've got a Yukon Gold garlic mashed, and we use an Earth's Balance spread for butter and unsweetened almond milk for cream in that and top it with a little bit of parsley. And we've just got a fresh steamed broccoli. We always drizzle our veggies in a little bit of olive oil and top with some fresh parm or nutritional yeast. Closure, midnight snack. I went for a bowl of pecan praline gluten-free granola. Finishing out our week here, it is Friday morning and I am going to try to have a bulletproof coffee instead of maple cream coffee for my breakfast. Um, that is a tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee and a tablespoon of organic virgin coconut oil in your coffee. You then put it in the bullet blender. It gets frothy and delicious. It's filling, it boosts your metabolism, and it supports mental clarity. Giving it a few good pulses here, you really want to incorporate some air into that oil. That way you get a beautiful frothy cappuccino consistency instead of an oil slick on top of your coffee. And here's a look at the beautiful foam on top of that Bulletproof coffee. It is a little bit rich and it is going to take some getting used to, but it was very filling and I didn't need much of a breakfast after. It's about 250 calories of healthy fats to start your metabolism in the morning. My coffee was still filling, but I'm just having half a grapefruit, although it is a massive head-sized half a grapefruit with some sea salt. And of course, having my favorite matcha green tea lemonade with Makuna honey. Eating sort of an anti-pasty style lunch today, I've got a gluten-free cracker bread from Trader Joe's, a slice of provolone with some Italian seasoning on top that I heated in the microwave, and then just a couple of tablespoons of edamame hummus with some fresh vegetables and about a half a cup of grapes. Well, I'm waiting for my Fiesta chicken recipe from Mel at Mel's Weight Loss Journey, and I 
try to kind of throw my own together in the Instant Pot, and I don't think I did it right. It's, it's missing the creamy part, so we'll see. Well, I definitely didn't do it right, but I served my shredded chicken breast and corn and black beans on top of some brown rice. I added some organic sour cream and organic cheddar and some sliced green onions, and it, it was delicious nonetheless, but I'm going to defer to Mel, and I'm going to try it again after her recipe goes up. Um, this is the last of my three-day mashup video. We'll have another two-day weekend mashup tomorrow. Um, thanks for joining me. I hope you join me again tomorrow for more gluten-free clean eating meal ideas. So that was lies. I'm not done. Two gluten-free paleo cupcakes and some unsweetened almond milk. I guess I had to finish out the week with style.